This is kind of embarrassing. My plan was to pee, pee in Waco, pee, pee receptacles. These are my show pants, not my pee pants. I hope you guys didn't bring your pee pants. Pee, pee, pee. There's nowhere else to pee. Pee, pee there. Peeing on the interstate. Pee, pee problem. <laughs> I had to pee. I pee on the interstate. I don't know, my dick's not gonna fit into that. Nobody can see my dick. Truckers can look down and see my dick. Well, his dick's out too, cool. Truckers all over the country with their dicks out. Dick out people. Truckers don't have clean dicks. They got their dick out, they got some chew in their mouth. When that trucker spits, he's gonna have a brown dick. <laughs> dicks. So yeah, let's get let's get away from my personal experiences and talk about this story here. What? Somebody wants what? Somebody wants to get a floppy on stage. <laughs> uh, flambe. What does that mean? Flambe on stage. What are you talking about? Let me finish my story and then you can do your flambe shit on stage. I'm telling a very personal moment about me pulling my dick out on stage in the middle of a story. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's like, hey, um, somebody wants to do a flambe on stage. And I respect that. But I'm telling, I'm wrapping up a story about how I whipped my dick out, okay? So anyway, <laughs> it was the biggest audience I've ever had and my dick was out. Flambe thing you're talking about there, Paul. I don't know what's going on. He comes up and whispers in my ear essentially as I'm talking about my dick. I don't know what's happening. Come here. No, no, that's fine. What, what, what was happening here? Uh, we need Flambe to come to the stage right now. Uh, forgot to know I reminded me about this before your set. I'm really sorry I interrupted you a bit. Um, <laughs> but. Is Flambe a person? I believe so. Is Flambe. What's happening? Oh, you're flambe. Oh, okay. I thought flambe was like some sort of like weird, like do a shot out of somebody's titty thing. And I'm just like, I don't know. Hi, flambe. Um, you don't sound like a titty shot at all. Here. Um, I don't know what's happening, but here you go. I <laughs> um, just want to say that I love my girlfriend very much. And I would ask her to come up here, please. Oh, wow. I think I'm fucking this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Um, we came together for this year. And I know you love Dick Story as much as I love I love you. And I hope you stay in my life. And I would just. I've never had that happen on stage before, and I gotta tell you something, guys. I suddenly feel really awful. A, that my penis story was ruining their proposal. And B, earlier, she was sitting at that table back there. I'm pretty sure she was the girl that was sitting at their table back there. And like, I, I just, I was sitting at the bar and I just kept looking back. And like, I wasn't trying to be a per, but like, there was some cleavage and I just kept going, oh shit. Like, and so now I feel really bad, you know, because like, like, I would, it was pre-fiance, dude. Like, like, I have a wife and she's not going to be happy about any of this, but like, she it was pre-fiance, I couldn't help it, they were out there. So, congratulations! Yeah, all right! Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. I feel like a dick. <laughs> Not like a brown one uh, that was in the trucker story, but you know. Jerk, 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 comedian freak out, come on!